we have a bunch of stuff to go through here in today's video the secrets of the pacific event is now live in warzone and vanguard we're gonna go through how to do all of the challenges what rewards you unlock new preview images of the pacific caldera map have been revealed we're gonna look at all of them in today's video and also we have some updates on the gameplay trailer and early capture event for the warzone pacific map coming very soon if you guys are new and would like to subscribe i would greatly appreciate that and be sure to drop a like on the video as well quick reminder we do have double weapon xp in vanguard multiplayer and for black ops cold war and warzone we have triple double xp so that's double xp double weapon xp and double battle pass xp black ops cold war and warzone have all three and vanguard only has double weapon xp makes sense we just had a huge weekend for vanguard they're still keeping the weapon xp which is cool but for cold war and warzone you get a bit more xp there and before we go through all the new info for vanguard new updates for the warzone pacific map we have a quick word from the sponsor of today's video today's video has been sponsored by fabulous the number one self-care app to help build better habits and achieve your goals habit changing and habit building is hard and fabulous really makes it easy for anyone to develop and stick to healthy habits thanks to science-backed daily routines there are different approaches you could take in the app built to suit your specific needs the self-guided approach helps with habit building and tracking you could pick among more than a hundred recommended habits or create your own and the app helps you build these habits thanks to timely reminders behavioral science principles as well as science-backed content for self-improvement mental health physical health and much more you could also take the guided approach where you could join programs designed to specifically achieve your well-being goals premium users have access to the coaching series where a digital coach will help you make the most out of your day make me fabulous moments also allow you to discover wellness practices with a vast content library of science-based exercises for fitness meditation productivity and much more and premium users get full access to all of this content as well fabulous does things completely different from other self-improvement apps it's 100 personalized to exactly what you need to fix and or improve in your life and what approach you want to take to do so it's also more gentle more rewarding and a lot more fun resulting in actual improvement in your life start building your ideal daily routine now the first 100 people who click the link down below in the description or in a pinned comment will get 25 percent off a fabulous premium subscription seriously be sure to check this out guys a really cool app here thank you again to fabulous for sponsoring today's video first let's go through all the challenges and rewards you unlock for completing the secrets of the pacific event but very quickly i just want to mention thank you guys for showing love to all of these sponsors really do appreciate it it helps me out so much allows me to do this full time so seriously you guys are so cool Thank you so much for that. But now let's switch over to face cam and go through everything you need to know about this event. All right, we're gonna go through all of the secrets of the Pacific challenges you need to complete to unlock the bonus reward in STG blueprint. You could either do all of the war zone challenges, all six of them, or all six of the Vanguard challenges. Let's start off here with the Warzone challenges first, and we'll go through what exactly you get for completing these challenges as well. The first one, we have Jailbreak. In Battle Royale, not Plunder, you have to do solo, duo, trio, or quads, BR. Go to the location shown in the photograph and find the mysterious object to unlock this reward. You have to go to the bench in the gulag in the prison area of the map and you'll get this reward here. You'll get this marina street calling card. We talked about this a couple days ago. Really cool stuff here. Second challenge on the air in BR. Look for sweet deals on the latest electronics to unlock this reward. You have to go to the electronics store in promenade on the map and you get this local radio emblem here. Third challenge fast food in Barrial. Enjoy a quick meal while you wait for your plane to unlock this reward. Pretty much just the burger challenge a food court area in the airport and you end up getting this volcanic souvenir charm fourth challenge on your feet in Battle Royale, go to a place where you can get patched up after a firefight to unlock this reward. Pretty much here, somewhere in the hospital. Don't know exactly where, but it's in the hospital somewhere. You'll probably find it. And the fifth challenge here, abandoned in BR. Those who go beneath the earth in an unfamiliar location can unlock this reward. This is actually in a new point of interest on the map, the mines. You could finally go in the mines and put some gameplay up on screen. Super cool vibes here. Don't know exactly where this is as well, but I was looking around. I couldn't find it. Let me know down below where exactly it could be. Maybe it changes locations, but the mines being open, really sick nonetheless. And the final challenge here for Warzone in a BR. Secrets from the past have been revealed recently. Go there to unlock this reward. This is pretty much just in one of the World War II bunkers on the Verdansk map. So those are the Warzone challenges. Pretty self-explanatory there. For the first one here in Vanguard Multiplayer, get 25 eliminations and you get this Home in Paradise calling card. Second one, get five multi-kills. Tropical Token Emblem, pretty cool. Third one, perform one finishing move. 
and you get this little submarine charm fourth one vote for a team mvp in 10 matches learn to fly pretty simple i originally thought you had to get mvp in 10 different matches but this is just voting for an mvp in 10 matches super simple there the fourth one play matches with another member of your clan five times you get this into the mine spray and finally get three wins in vanguard multiplayer and you get this treasure the scenery calling card so if you want to get that stg blueprint super quickly hop into vanguard multiplayer that should be so so quick there although right now at the time of recording this video there are a bunch of issues and crashes with this event and i'm pretty sure they actually disabled the secrets of the pacific event so hopefully by the time i upload this video it's all good for you guys i know pretty much anything you do in vanguard mp right now crashes your game any kill streak you call in completely crashes it so again hopefully that's fixed later on because the vanguard method is super quick super easy to get that stg blueprint but also the warzone method is cool as well kind of the intel system we saw back from modern warfare and warzone when they did that stuff back then but pretty cool there nonetheless overall here it would have been nice to see a separate game mode for the secrets of the pacific event i thought they might do that but this is still a cool event here and overall we have one more event coming for warzone the last hours the final hours of verdansk and that's going to be a day before the pacific map releases we don't know exactly what that's going to be all about but it sounds pretty interesting and that's going to be what is it december 7th or something so i'll be sure to stream up to you guys once we get more info on that should be a ton of fun there but that's pretty much it here for the secrets of the pacific event this is going to last until december 7th again 13 days seven hours to so complete this you have more than enough time to get this blueprint and all of these different rewards so so that's pretty much it there as you probably saw in the background when you complete all of these different challenges a part of the secrets of the pacific event you get these different preview image postcards of the warzone pacific caldera map we're going to look at these zoomed in close up to really get a good idea as to what this map is going to be like the atmosphere the locations and all the good stuff these are images we really haven't seen before some we have from different areas of the map and different marketing we've seen but a lot of these here have never been seen before so really cool stuff here the first one up on screen is a movie theater area you can kind of see this in the beginning of the mp reveal trailer section of the warzone pacific cutscenes we saw back in september pretty cool stuff there this is just a different angle of it really cool vibes and also by the way i did put a blue tint onto everything just to make it a bit more visible a bit easier to look at so hopefully you guys are enjoying that the next image here we have this radio station a radio tower in the background i mean i don't know if you can climb up that tower it seems like you may be able to but pretty cool stuff there nothing too crazy just a squares brick building type of vibe and then another view here from the mountain volcano on caldera we've seen so many images of this before from different angles we've never seen this angle before but still really cool nonetheless you have different buildings up top a little town area a road that circles up to the top really cool stuff there and then we have another shot of a military base or a camp you have some hangars different little buildings at ground level and then in the middle you have this deep pit and it seems to be some type of training facility down below pretty cool stuff there then we have another shot of a water tower this hillside town this little village in the valley it seems like between these two kind of hill mountains and then if you look far back you have this really long narrow bridge maybe like a narrow wooden bridge you would see in that region of the world really wide shot here palm trees just a super cool landscape here i love this vibe for this map honestly so so cool can't wait to see like actual gameplay of this area which again we'll talk about later on in this video the next image here we have the front of a hotel we did get another shot of this in one of the calling cards we talked about in a previous video one of the rewards you get for completing different challenges in the secrets of the pacific event super cool vibes here the next image here we've kind of seen before in a different angle this is just a couple of buildings or huts some palm trees seems to be on the side of a river or two rivers converging together really cool vibes here i love all of these different locations i've been saying before this image here we have a shoreside town tons of palm trees different little buildings little mini huts houses on the side little water so so cool then we have some type of military base that extends out into the water on the shore this is located on the right side of the caldera map and this is actually most likely the submarine base that we saw in the map itself so really cool vibes here as well and then we have some smaller postcard images here this one this random tower looks like some type of watchtower or an air traffic control tower maybe so we'll see what that is and we have a gondola or something like that some type of tram i don't know exactly where that is on the map but super cool vibes there a little construction site below it seems like and then finally here we have a shot of what seems like to be the ancient ruins location on the map top left corner of this map i'm pretty sure and it looks very similar to the spawn room of shangri-la the black ops one zombies map really cool vibes here overall and those are all of the preview images we have right now 
for this Warzone Pacific map. Again, I saw I was watching Tim the Tatman, Dr. Disrespect, they were talking about this here, and they were really hoping to see some actual gameplay and cutscenes teased a part of this event. And I do understand that, okay, these are cool preview images. I'm hyped to see something of this Warzone Pacific map, but I do agree with them. It would have been cool to have mini cutscene videos and little gameplay clips from this event. Now, if you go through the red doors in Warzone, where you teleport to different parts of the map and you get different loot rewards and stuff like that, you do get a little snapshot, a little cutscene of the Pacific map when you teleport there. So that's pretty cool, but it would have been cool to see those cutscenes more a part of this Secrets of the Pacific event instead of through the red doors. But if you do want many snapshots of it in a game, definitely use those red doors because they give you little shots of this new map. Really cool vibes here. And that brings us into more marketing and reveals for this Pacific map coming very soon. Any day now, we should be seeing new full length gameplay, first person gameplay of this Caldera map from YouTubers, streamers, and an official gameplay trailer. Tom Henderson tweeted this out content creators will be playing the new Warzone Pacific map Caldera next week, which is now this week as of recording this video, in addition to a new Caldera trailer going public. Gameplay from these creators is expected to be shown soon after. So if you think about this week, today is Wednesday, November 24th. We have the Secrets of the Pacific event now live. It's not going to be today. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I can't see them doing all this stuff revealed on a holiday, but Friday could be that day where they bring out all of the different streamers and YouTubers and the gameplay trailer releases and they have all of that marketing that brings us into the weekend and into next week. Now, there is a good chance that they delay all of this until early next week. So I wouldn't say for sure that all of this marketing will be this week. They might want to let the Secrets of the Pacific event marinate a little bit and then a week before this new update comes out, which would be next Wednesday, they'll do all of the gameplay trailer stuff, the full length gameplay, and that would be exactly one week before the Caldera map and season one officially goes live. But this event here, this gameplay trailer and all of the full length first person gameplay, it's going to be a huge chance for us to really see what this map is like the cutscenes we've seen the images are so so cool i'm definitely hyped for the pacific theme i love the vibes of the map but it's really important to see actual gameplay to really see what it feels like a lot of people are concerned about the size of the map the locations will it be too campy to open the scenery the colors will it be too vibrant will there be this weird lens flare like we had in vanguard's mp at least for the beta i mean there very well could end up being a bunch of problems we have with the core gameplay and the warzone pacific caldera map itself so again it's important to see some actual gameplay some feedback from these youtubers who played it early who are going to play it early and hopefully that's all resolved by the launch of this map in a couple of weeks from now so Really cool stuff here. Can't wait to see all of that. And that's pretty much it here for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. There are two videos up on screen that may interest you, so be sure to check one of them out. Real do appreciate, guys. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.